Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Fuller Baby checking in, and I'm back with another review. Today, I'll be reviewing the Air Jordan 1 Trophy Room. The Air Jordan 1 Trophy Room was released just this past All Star Weekend, February 2021. If I'm not mistaken, the exact date was February 15th, February 2021. It was released on the Trophy Room's official website, but I got mine from a very special person who I will not be disclosing the information on for his reputation. Let's get into it. The box got hella stars on it. It's a blue box with hella stars. Regular Air Jordan 1 box. Got the Nike on the front. Um, Nike on the side. Stars on the bottom. You know, that's the box. Inside of the lid it says Air Jordan 1. I'm sorry, it does not say Air Jordan 1. It says Air Jordan Trophy Room. And it has the date stamp. Well, I don't even know. Is that a serial number? Most likely a serial number. Um, on the inside of the lid. And these are indeed the family and friends pair. Like I said, I got this from a very special friend of mine here in Chicago who I will not be disclosing the name of. Um, but as you guys can see, this is the family and friends pair. On the laces, it reads, rumor has it. Uh, so the whole backstory behind this shoe, it was supposedly, you know, Michael Jordan's rookie year or his first all-star game, if I'm not mistaken. He was froze out. That's why the shoes feature a frost overlay, I wanna say, all throughout the shoe. Well, on the red parts of the shoe. I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but like I said, he was supposedly froze out his first All-Star game with, and he basically performed horribly. Going into more details of this shoe, the shoes feature red, white, and blue stars on the bottom with a translucent sole. Let me see through. And like I said, it is a silhouette of the Air Jordan 1 Chicago. I probably never wear this shoe, to be honest with y'all. I probably never wear this shoe, to be honest. These motherfuckers going for like four racks on StockX. Boy, that shit dead. That shit dead. The shoes come with black laces, red laces, white laces. And if you were special, you know, they pretty much look like the Chicago Air Jordan ones to me, in my opinion, ladies and gentlemen. If you're in the market for this shoe, it can be purchased on StockX for about three to five thousand dollars in your size depending on your size in my opinion it's not worth it it's not worth it at all i mean it's a it's a cool collector's item you know for all the mic heads out there but like myself but like i said i wouldn't pay i wouldn't shit i wouldn't pay more than retail for this motherfucker on the inside it has rumor has it oh I almost forgot. There were only 12,000 pairs made. I feel like that's probably why it was so expensive as well. My serial number is 3,861 out of 12,000. And that's on the left shoe. On the right shoe, it reads February 10th, 1985. That was Michael Jordan's rookie year. So I was indeed correct earlier in this video. On the inside of the sole, it has, I want to say a patch. Basically the same logo patch that was on the inside of the box. Air Jordan Trophy Room. And this is a size 12. And my shit real. I will include pictures from this app by the name of, one second. So the name of the app that I had these authenticated by was the Check Check app. Shout out to Check Check. Uh, all you do is buy credits. You, you know, it's basically like tokens. You could buy like three, five, and I think 10 tokens as a bundle. I think I went ahead and bought five just to show that I don't fuck with fakes. Fake shoes, that's that shit I don't like. So I went ahead and had these authenticated by the Check Check app. And they did indeed come back authentic. 
So shout out to the Check Check app. You guys are amazing. Keep doing what you do. Like I said, I'll probably never wear them. I will most likely pass these down to my son and just let him know. Take care of these bitches, boy. Don't ever wear these hoes. Just take care of them. Um, it's a tan midsole. Too much special about this damn shoe, <laughs> to be honest. I don't understand what, what was the madness and the craze all behind this shit. I mean, my shit fell on my lap, you feel me? My shoes fell on my lap, so I wasn't really stressed. Oh, I almost overlooked this. This is, I want to say, the first Air Jordan 1 with Michael Jordan's signature on it. So maybe that's why it's important. But ladies and gentlemen, here we have it. Air Jordan 1 trophy room. Hope you guys always remember, like, comment, and subscribe. Peace. Oh, yeah. Shout out my boy Von Clark, man. He will be dropping these tees soon. Von Clark, bad church boy. We out.